So I've enjoyed playing chess over the years, and I'm not good. In fact, there's another story about that for another day. But the thing about chess is it's an infinitely complicated game. It's 64 squares, and the board is defined, and all of the pieces are defined. In fact, many of the pieces are defined by the place that they are assigned on the board. And so, by virtue of being a pawn, they have certain moves they can make, and that square says a little bit about where they're at and what they can do. And, and the same for all of the pieces, the rooks, the knights, the bishops, the queen, the king, all of them have a specific role that's been assigned to them, and that determines what they can do and, and how they're recognized. Unfortunately, life is like that a lot of times. The society tries to tell us who we are and how we're defined. It tries to find us and assign us to a place and define us by that place that we occupy in the world. In Luke 19, that was kind of the story that Zacchaeus was living, that he was described as a wee little man, as the song goes, and he was a tax collector, so a lot of people had a lot of thoughts and assumptions about who he is. And yet, Jesus... Jesus countered all of those when he said, Zacchaeus, come on down, I'm coming to your house. Something nobody would ever done. And yet Jesus said, I'm coming to your house. How often have you felt like you are being defined by the space and the place that you occupy in life, that you had no say over whatsoever? What people think about you, how you're treated, is based upon where you're at. Well, thankfully, Jesus loves each and every one of us the same way that he did Zacchaeus that Zacchaeus, his past, his current situation, and the things he had done didn't matter to Jesus. Jesus said, you are beloved. I'm coming to your house. And Jesus says the same to each and every one of us, regardless of who we are and where we're at. We are beloved children of God. Now, we're all different. We're all unique, and just like these chess pieces of different sizes and shapes and all of those things, and all of the things that make us different and unique, Every one of those are a part of who we are, and yet Jesus has declared that we are beloved. In fact, Scripture tells us that each and every one of us are fearfully and wonderfully made, that we are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God, and that defines who we are, not the square that we occupy in this life, not what other people think about us, not what some set of rules say about what we can or can't do. God has defined us. And so what Jesus has done to this world that we live in that seems so neat and orderly and defined by all of the little boxes and places that we are to be assigned and defined by, Jesus has changed the playing field and done away with the squares. And instead, we've got this one big square that is God's kingdom. And Jesus says, you and you and you and you and all of you are my beloved that each and every one of you is created in God's image, and each and every one of you is fearfully and wonderfully made, just as you are. Now, if Jesus loves us like that, I suppose when he told us that we should love one another, that means when we look around, we shouldn't be looking to see what boxes other people should be belonging in, what rules they should be following, whether they're worthy or deserving of us loving them. Jesus has said, this is my playing field. There's room in here for everybody. I love all of you, and I want you to do the same. Friends, when we say that Jesus told us to love one another, we don't first pick them up and examine them and check them out and say, okay, are you worthy and deserving of my love, never mind the love of Jesus. He just said, if you are on my playing board, you're loved and you belong. May that be the love that we at Aldersgate share with everyone. Those that come through our doors and those that don't. Those that we have made that profession that we want to be a part of helping God's love reach them. May we do all that we can to help God's love reach all people. Amen.